Nope, still nothing. Ugh, and the guy's seen the scrolls. Not only the scrolls, but the crows. Crows are not doing anything bad to my garden, but frankly, if I had berries, they might come and eat them. Which would be irritating. So yeah, pay no attention to the guy who's seen them over the fence. That way. Check out the garden, but fix is doing alright. It dropped its leaves. I took some of them off because they were getting yellow. I composted them. The blackberry is taking off and doing nicely. Not some of its leaves were bad, and we still had a heat wave into October. The squirrels are digging in my where my cover crops are. I stuck some cover crops in there. Pepper's doing now. The pepper's doing alright. The yard chug is doing amazingly. There's two garlics this side. Oh, I see is two. Not three, but it's a big freaking hole over here. Also bought some ren ten ranunculus bulbs, so I'll plant maybe. Maybe I'll plant two in there. I don't know. I'll see. So now our choke in here. It's doing nice. Despite this leaf not looking great. <laughs> Desert Rose doing okay. Cherry's doing alright despite the squirrels coming to dig. Certain on cherry's doing alright too. Oh yeah, certain on cherry. Frankly, I want to get a slingshot with squirrels, but I don't know how much that would do. Frankly, I'd deal with them. Most likely, I might be doing more harm than good. But I'm just sick of the digging, frankly. Now they're going out, they were going after the fennel, the garlic, my pots. They dug into everything up there, frankly. Mm. Even the passion fruit. Uh, but in any case, the artichoke. Are... Ah, apricot's doing okay. Cauliflower's doing good. The fennel did have some come up, but squirrels dug out that, and now there's none. I put more seeds, and I bought another pack of seeds, along with some packs of flowers and a pack of Georgia collards, which I might grow. Frankly, I have no idea how to deal with the squirrels here, so if anyone has any tips, maybe post it into the comments of the video. Maybe like and subscribe as well and press the mm. uh, bell icon to get updates of when I'm like, playing on a video or anything I might do. Plum's doing okay. Also it's um, November 11 today. Oh yeah, with this it, um, by the way, though, the figs are doing okay, the papaya is doing nice. There's, um, let me get this. You can see there's something right here. Not sure what that is. My other one doesn't have that, but I can't check, frankly. I don't know. Due to, I'm not sure, but yeah. Yeah, nothing. New growth, a lot of new growth due to the, the heat wave. Due to the heat wave. And some other unwanted things. Smart mites, all that I've been seeing. Mm, it's most likely going to go yellow. There's one right here that doesn't look great. You can see it right there. Let me take you around. Ah, uh, must have been caught. Yeah, it looks bad. They dug in this one once, but they dug in this one a few times. This one. A bit, and this one a lot. 
it's irritating they keep digging over here in the garlic but yeah the garlic's doing okay this one's not doing great of course had yellow leaves also they're digging this but yeah this is take off done good the heat wave helped it it's, don't know where it's gonna go when it gets up here maybe i can train it to go down and go around some other poles maybe i can put some poles on the other side one right there one right there one up there there, there, there. Perhaps. <laughs> oh yeah, the lemongrass is planted in here along with some garlic bulbs. <sighs> yeah, freaking. These things are a pain in the butt. They need to go. Are you kidding me? That's it, I'm getting the slingshot. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> Frankly, Gar garlic's doing okay. Uh, bulb flowers are doing okay. The convolva is doing nice. This is looking nice. That's looking good. I'm not sure what that was. If that's calendula. The beard eyes are doing okay. Also, dear beard eyes, iris in here. This one's called the Slovak Prince. Slovak Prince. It's right here. I'll take you as low as I can go. Yeah. Also, some more popping up, which is nice. Add some more flower seeds. Maybe I'll go over those and maybe I'll do something else. Frankly, I'm not sure what else to do. Maybe I'll go look for somewhere at the beach. I'll see. Pomegranate's doing okay. Usual. And the rose is doing okay with some new growth coming out. Glossy and nice looking. This feels really nice. It's doing okay. It has some like little orange spots on it, but I got rid of those. Lemon's doing okay, there's only four of them. Some are a little bit scuffed up, but it's okay. I let those, I guess, do what they're doing. And there's some spire webs, mite webs, popping up, I've been seeing. I don't want those. Here, this one's called the Red Rover, but I didn't go over it. This one's called the Red Rover. Passion fruit. Passion fruit. And this one's called the Tikala Guava. There were some mites. There was like some aphids under here. Don't know if you can see them. Like something right there. Yeah. So this one's gonna be a pink variety. So I can do with it. Since it's so is doing nice. I suppose that thing I saw in the papaya is the fruit. And I'm sorry for the sound. I suppose that's the fruit. It must be. It's doing nice. I don't know if it's a male or female. But nice. Happy about it. I think everything will be okay. The cat has been walking out to the out there. Don't know what it's gonna do, but it chased the squirrel up a tree. That way, then it ran through the wood, through the fence, then it ran to the other tree right here to go scratch on it with its claws. Went halfway up it, I guess. Or halfway up, yeah. I did that once before. So yeah, I'll see what I do with this. I'm glad to have this. I wasn't sure about the Tikal Guava. Maybe that's over my head. But we'll see. I'm still looking for a black sarn on cherry. And yeah, I might go to the wetland, the place to go look for some seaweed or wood at the beach. So we'll see. 
Alright then, I'll be seeing ya. But another video sooner or later. I have to wait for something to happen. Alright then. See ya. Have a good day.